Hi there, I thought I'd shoot another midweek bonus video for you and the purpose is really twofold. One, I thought I would show you a little bit more of the area where I live so that you can see where I draw a lot of my inspiration from. And two, I really need to brush up on my editing. Uh, as you know, my husband is a professional cameraman and so he shoots and edits all my cooking videos and they're very, very high end but I would like to help him out a little. And in order to do that, I really need to brush up on my editing. So this is just an excuse for me to go out with my cell phone and just shoot little videos for you and I can practice on that editing. Anyway, today I thought I would show you a little bit of the landscape out here. I know that not everyone has an appreciation for desert life, but I was born and raised in the Southwest and I absolutely love it. This is a great area, not too far from where I live, and it's nice to come out here and just go for a little walk or just see the sun set here. I wanted to bring my dog Miley, but uh, it's still a little hot right now, and I didn't want her to burn her paws. These are nopales, or you may know them as prickly pear, and they're definitely edible. In fact, the first time I had them was on a quesadilla, and I recently had them at a restaurant as a salad. It was a side salad, almost kind of like a chutney. And here's some purple ones. I think they're so beautiful. This, of course, is a saguaro cactus, and you see that it doesn't have any arms yet, so this one's relatively young. Saguaros take between 50 and 75 years to start growing arms. So they are protected here in Arizona. I love all the unexpected pops of color. This I believe is called the Mexican bird of paradise. But look how bright that is, it looks like fire. This one is called the teddy bear choya. Kind of looks like one too. Just for fun, do you want to see what a cell phone tower looks like out here? You're going to love this. There it is. A giant saguaro cactus. I love that they go out of their way to make sure that it blends into the landscape. Well, there's a lot more that I could show you, but I thought it'd be fun just to start off with the cactus. And now that I've done that, I think I know what I'm making for dinner. So today I thought I would actually cook some nopales. I am by no means an expert on this because uh, I didn't really grow up eating them. I didn't have them till much later in life, but it's fun when I see them at the grocery store. They sell them just like this, or you can even buy them already chopped. Then you just add whatever ingredients you like and you can eat them any number of ways. <music> 